three different liquids which have 10% water, 20% water, and X percent of water are mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 respectively. You are going to mix in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 respectively. If 12% of water is present in the final mixture, calculate the value of X. Calculate the value of X. Now look here, they have given the percentage, okay? Please understand. Yes, they have given the percentage. Yes, you can solve this problem with a weighted average formula also, or you can directly try tackling with the help of the percentage and ratios. Okay. Yes, if you want to find out the weighted average, please understand. Weighted average formula says N1 A1 plus N2 A2 plus N3 A3, since we have three terms, divided by N1 plus N2 plus N3. Okay. Where N1 is nothing but what is the total quantity? A1 is the percentage or uh, average. Yes, N2 is the total quantity. Again, the other one. So I can take out weighted average. What is the total parts here? So I can see it is 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. Yes, N1 is how much? So 2 into how many it is? 10 percentage. Plus 3 into 20 percentage. 3 times of 20 percentage I'm taking. Plus 4 into X percentage I'm taking divided by what is the total quantity 2 plus 3 plus this one so i can take it as 9 is equals to what so they have told 12 percentage 12 percentage now since you have got the values in terms of a percentage everywhere and uh, you have got it on the right hand side as well as the left hand side you can just eliminate those percentages you can directly take it as a normal number so i can see that 9 into 12 is equals to 2 into 10 which is 20 plus 60 plus 4x Take out the value. 9 into 12 is how much? 12, 9 times. 108. 108 minus 80 equals to 4x. So what is it now? Can you say 4x equals to 28? So what is the value of x? x becomes 7. And what is this x? This is nothing but the percentage. So the third quantity should have 7 percentage. Third quantity should have 7 percentage. Get it? When you have more than 2 quantity, 3 quantity, 4 quantity, it's better that you directly jump with the weighted average and you can directly solve with it. Hardly one minute and you can tackle it. Thanks for watching. And for more updates and similar videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.